J.K. Rowling has created one of the most revolutionary magical worlds in modern young adult literature. That being said, Rowling's own opinions have been known to cause not only Twitter wars, but full-blown controversy. Let's take a look at some celebs who have called out the Harry Potter writer. In June 2020, Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling faced backlash for a series of tweets that suggest she doesn't believe trans women are women. In response to a headline referencing people who menstruate, Rowling wrote, I'm sure there used to be a word for those people. Someone help me out. Wombin, wimpund, wumud. Basically, Rowling suggested that to be called a woman, one must menstruate. The author expanded on her beliefs in a Twitter thread that became very controversial. Harry Potter star Daniel Radcliffe responded on the Trevor Project website, an organization that provides essential support for LGBTQIA youth. Radcliffe said in the statement, I feel compelled to say something at this moment. Transgender women are women. Any statement to the contrary erases the identity and dignity of transgender people and goes against all advice given by professional healthcare associations who have far more expertise on this subject matter than either Joe or I. Radcliffe encourages people to be better allies, shares informational resources, and assures fans that the positive messages they may have taken from the books are still valid. He wrote, If you found anything in these stories that resonated with you and helped you at any time in your life, then that is between you and the book that you read, and it is sacred. Actress Sarah Paulson was quite explicit when expressing her feelings about J.K. Rowling's opinions. She tweeted, quote, Good night and shut up, and tagged the author in response to Rowling's tweet claiming, If sex isn't real, the lived reality of women globally is erased. I know and love trans people, but erasing the concept of sex removes the ability of many to meaningfully discuss their lives. It isn't hate to speak the truth. Fellow authors have also been telling Rowling how they feel on Twitter, even if less explicitly. When The Shining author Stephen King retweeted a quote Rowling had shared, she thanked him for his support. The quote from feminist Andrea Dworkin read, Men often react to women's words, speaking and writing, as if they were acts of violence. Sometimes men react to women's words with violence. It isn't hateful for women to speak about their own experiences, nor do they deserve shaming for doing so. Rowling responded on Twitter with a since-deleted tweet which read, I've always revered Stephen King, but today my love reached, maybe not Annie Wilkes levels, but new heights. However, King's retweet of Rowling prompted his fans to ask if he supported trans women given Rowling's beliefs. King subsequently tweeted, Yes, trans women are women. Rowling's tweet praising King suddenly disappeared. Because, because I don't see why I should say that. Broadway star Anthony Rapp has tweeted several essays about why J.K. Rowling's beliefs are problematic and has encouraged fans to listen to trans people instead of a famous author. Rapp wrote on Twitter, She has such a powerful voice. Why is she using that voice to die on a hill of transphobia? It is damaging and sad and makes zero sense. Is it really her belief that trans women somehow threaten her own selfhood? What is she so f***ing afraid of? He also shared a thread supporting the idea that biological sex is not as cut and dry as some people think it is, and another that corrected the half-truths in Rowling's rebuttal essay, Point by Point. J.K. Rowling published an essay defending her views and addressing the backlash she's received on her website. In her essay, Rowling claimed that some people think they need to transition genders in response to oppression. She wrote, It's been clear to me for a while that the new trans activism is having, or is likely to have if all its demands are met, a significant impact on many of the causes I support, because it's pushing to erode the legal definition of sex and replace it with gender. Although he didn't mention Rowling by name at all, one day after the essay was published, comedian and American Horror Story actor Billy Eichner tweeted, Trans women are women. Trans men are men. Non-binary people are non-binary. And I will never understand why some people are bothered by this. Life is short. Let people be who they are. It doesn't concern you. Harry Potter franchise stars Rupert Grint and Emma Watson, who played sweethearts Ron and Hermione in the films, made individual statements in support of trans rights. Grint said in a statement, I firmly stand with the trans community. Trans women are women. Trans men are men. We should all be entitled to live with love and without judgment. On Twitter, Watson declared, Trans people are who they say they are and deserve to live their lives without being constantly questioned or told they aren't who they say they are. She also had a message for her trans followers and wrote in a tweet, I and so many other people around the world see you, respect you, and love you for who you are. 
Hogwarts students aren't the only stars condemning J.K. Rowling's words. Eddie Redmayne, who starred in the Harry Potter spin-off Fantastic Beasts and received backlash for portraying a transgender woman in The Danish Girl, gave a statement of support for the transgender community. Redmayne told Deadline in June 2020, Respect for transgender people remains a cultural imperative, and over the years I have been trying to constantly educate myself. This is an ongoing process. As someone who has worked with both J.K. Rowling and members of the trans community, I wanted to make it absolutely clear where I stand. I disagree with Joe's comments. Trans women are women, trans men are men, and non-binary identities are valid. His statement ended by saying that questioning trans identities often leads to violence and abuse. Redmayne explained, I would never want to speak on behalf of the community, but I do know that my dear transgender friends and colleagues are tired of this constant questioning of their identities, which all too often results in violence and abuse. They simply want to live their lives peacefully, and it's time to let them do so. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.